Hello everybody, thank you again for joining me on another episode of How It Works. Uh, today I'm very excited to go over uh, with you guys a, um, a Zune tutorial on how to update um, your Zune as well as uh, transfer your Zune HD apps um, over into the Zune software and being able to turn on the settings to be able to sync your Zune. This time, it once you turn on the settings, it's permanent, unlike my 2017 video. I'm also going to be talking about, um, you know, again, me rebooting my Zoom tutorial video that I made back in 2017 on Windows 7. So essentially, I'm going to be putting this, um, you know, again, doing this type of setup on Windows 10. Um, and I'm going to also teach you guys the proper way to install the Zoom software, as well as going in and... Um, teaching you the new school way of how to update your Zune uh, thanks to a bunch of um, other geeks out here in the community and I say that respectfully um, that has put together a, a um, huge community and a website for you to now be able to pull the firmware um, from that website and download it to your Zune. So I'm going to teach you on how to do that and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. So, um, so essentially um, what I did back in 2017 was create this video. Um, I actually lost this. Um, I lost my YouTube channel at one point. Um, I actually had moved my YouTube channel to a Google or, or uh, G Suite type of um, domain and then um, pretty much I lost everything. Um, so essentially, um, thankfully I found this video in a backup and uh, essentially I went ahead and created a Discord so that you guys can be able to make um, appointments um, and I do appointments um, only in regards to helping individuals with uh, getting their Zooms working. Um, my goal is to build my brand, build, build my reputation and help put together a great community um, of, uh, you know, again, uh, people that just loves technology, wants to use their technology, who likes to game, or uh, so forth and so on, right? So essentially, um, the reason why I'm here is because this is going to be the very similar layout, um, which is going to be shown right here underneath the description of this video. So I'm using this video as, a, as an example on how to get your files so that we can be able to then move forward with this process. So if you have not already, what you're going to want to do under the, you know, again, under the video in the description below, um, where it says Zoom fix instructions, firmware files, and extras, essentially what you're going to want to do is click on this. It's going to take you to my OneDrive. Once you click on my OneDrive link, you're going to see two folders pop up, Zoom commands, and YouTubers, please read the, the description. That's just a little, um, you know, again, little prompt to say, hey, you know, don't forget to read the, the description in case if you guys found this link just laying around somewhere on Reddit. And so essentially what we're going to want to do, um, since we're following the 2021 video, not the 2017 video here, um, we're going to go ahead and follow this directory. Now, what you're going to want to do is click on the download link here at the very top. Um, that's very important so that you can be able to download all these files in one go, as well as all those folders and subfolders. Um, this is where all the meat and bones are going to be in regards to being able to help you getting your Zoom working. So um, this is what's going to look like when you extract it using 7-Zip or using um, Windows, Windows Explorer or File Explorer or whatever they call it these days. And essentially, once you extract um, the files and extract the folders, this is what you see. So, um, so you might have to pause this video, wait for the download to get done. It is, it is a big download because there is a lot to it. Uh, but what we're going to do is go ahead and get started. So, again, this is your moment to um, unpause and move on um, as I'm going to go ahead and proceed. So, pretty much... Um, here where it says um, one um, dot you know part of parentheses Zoom tutorial video um, essentially this is where um, you're, you'll be able to see the old school method on Windows 7 as well as the new school method which is going to teach the old school method and the new school method all on Windows 10 so you're going to get a, a two-in-one tutorial video here so essentially um, that is where you're going to find your your uh, tutorial video. So in case if you accidentally close out this video, you'll have 
my tutorial video downloaded. Um, the next step is the Zune software. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So you're going to see this little reg file. You're going to see the Zune package.exe. You're going to see old Zune software. These are for people who are experimenting with Windows XP. Um, again, I hope you guys are playing it safe by staying offline if you do. Um, but essentially, this is where you're going to install Zune and then enable the features permanently to what um, you know Microsoft had disabled before once they killed Zune support. So what we're going to do is go ahead and launch Zune package.exe and we're going to go ahead and get to the installation setup screen. But we're not going to run the installation yet. So we might have to install a feature here. Um, I'll go over that here with you very shortly. Uh, let's see. Let me just make sure I have it turned on. And if I don't, then good. Okay, so I get to go over this with you. So essentially what you're going to want to do is go ahead and um, install .NET Framework 4.8 um, Advanced Services. So if you don't know how to get to this, all you got to do is go to your... Um, you know, start menu either by pressing your Windows key or going down to the very top, I'm sorry, uh, bottom left. And what you're going to do is just type in Windows Features. And then once you hit enter, this little guy is what's going to pop up. But in order to get Zune to work, Zune run off, runs off a of .NET framework. And if this isn't enabled, then this is not going to essentially install or run or go through. And I'm also going to make a troubleshooting video uh, for you guys. So if you run into an issue to where Zune just doesn't want to uninstall, install, and you're noticing weird issues um, when it's running or if it's just randomly crashing on you, um, again, I'm going to make a, um, a, a tutorial on how to fix the Zune software so that you can be able to get Windows running smoothly. Um, because all of this pulls from the Windows directory. So essentially what is here. So those files come from here, um, the .NET Framework files. So th all of this comes from this folder. So if whatever is corrupted here, um, then this isn't going to work. So what you got to do is uncorrupt Windows and then rerun it. Um, so since I know for a fact my, my Windows installation is not corrupted, um, and I made sure of it last night, uh, essentially what we're going to do is go ahead and move on. So I'm going to, for just testing purposes, see what my Windows computer will do with this turned off and see if this is the .NET framework that it needs to be able to run. I honestly believe it was the 4.8, but it could be the 3.5, so we'll, we're about to see. All right, and let me go ahead and disconnect my Zoom. And then let's go ahead and click Install. Yeah, I think it needed a 3.5 .NET Framework. So if this is not enabled, then yeah, you're you're not going to be able to run the installation. Which this makes sense because this is older. So again, you must have .NET Framework 3.5 in order to run the Zune software. And if you want to play it safe, enable both of them.
So the reason why my Zune software is not zipping through as fast as yours is because I have this recording software that is just dragging right now. So, um, and again, it's just very heavy on my system when I'm recording my screen. So uh, I apologize if things are a little bit slower compared to what your computer, uh, you know, to your computer's performance. All right. So what I'm going to do, just, just for the sake of, you know, sanity here, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and enable this feature. This is something you guys don't have to do, but I'm just doing it to cover my apples. Um, and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, hit close. And then what I'm going to do is bounce back to where I was. So again, we're under Zune software. Under Zune software, we're, we're, uh, we just got done installing the Zune, uh, Zune package.exe. What our next step is, is to make sure Zune was never launched. And if it was launched, just make sure it's fully closed out. And what we're going to do is then go ahead and run this reg file. Now, this is a registry file. Um, typically, you know, you don't want to do this, but because of the sake that Microsoft disabled features inside of Zune, um, which cuts off the Zune experience that um, you and I had um, once upon a time, this is going to help you get those features turned on and stay on so that you can be able to get the applications over to your Zune HD. So what I just did, I went ahead and imported that, that um, reg file. That reg file will now allow um, features of the Zune software to, to, uh, to work. And now what we're going to want to do is go down here to where's, where Zoom commands.pdf is, click on that, and it's time to go ahead and get your Zoom into recovery mode. So if your Zoom is um, asking for an update before being able to go to the home screen, then you're kind of already in recovery mode. For people who are wanting just to reinstall the operating system on the Zoom, um, what you're going to want to do is, um, again, look at this PDF document here figure out what your zoom is figure out um, your button combination and then pull it in pull it into recovery so I have a zoom HD so what I'm going to do is hold the power button hold the middle button until it fully powers off all right and what I'm going to do is hold my volume down button and my middle button to put it into recovery mode. If you see the Zoom logo pull up, that you gotta wait for everything to boot up and then attempt to do another power down. And if you're like me, you have one of those plastic cases that you ordered from eBay on your Zoom HD, uh, you're gonna have to get in there with your fingernail to try to push down the volume down button and hold your middle button and now you should see like a little USB cable that is pointing to a laptop. If that, if you see something similar to that, then you know that you're in a good spot. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Zune. So Windows can detect my Zune in recovery mode. It should launch Zune automatically. It should launch Zune automatically. <laughs> All right. And as you can see, features have has changed, or I'm sorry, features have changed. So what we're going to do is go ahead and I'm just going to hop over to settings. Uh, let's see. Yep, next. Yep, that's fine. Uh, yep, sure, which I don't care for it. And then you're, you're going to then see an update error like this. Now, the reason why you're seeing this is because, again, Microsoft cut off uh, Windows Phone 7 support, which played on the same platform as the Zune um, support platform. So they both use that same marketplace and the same servers to be able to pull their firmware updates, which is what makes your Zune works, work and update. So how to fix this is going to um, be this kind of way here. So what we're going to do is go to Zune firmware update. And then you should see the new school method and the old school method to update. Now remember, uh, the new school method is um, pulling the firmware from a website. 
uh, which is called zoonupdate.com. I'm going to go ahead and launch that batch file, which will then take me directly to the website. And as you can see, um, again, this is um, the, the respectfully saying this, the geeks that came together and created this website. Um, they provided uh, you know resources to help you get your Zoom working, things like that. Um, so I'm going to go go ahead and tell you the the way that you can be able to update your Zoom using this website. So here you're going to see these two little folder, uh, two little files here, um, hosts, and then paste host file into etc folder. So what we're going to do is right click, or either click on copy at the top, and then you're going to copy that file. You're going to then double click on paste host file into etc folder. What this does, it jumps you into your Windows directory, it jumps you into the system32 folder, into drivers, and then into etc. So as you can see the path up here. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and click paste. Make sure you have administrator privileges. And go ahead and hit continue and this should kick through. So now when we rerun the Zoom software, we're going to then notice that the Zoom software will then detect that there is an available update. And you might have to relaunch it, close it out, relaunch it a couple of times for it to detect the update. Um, I normally give it about roughly a minute or so just for the software to be fully closed out. I normally detach my Zoom just to make sure that Zoom software does not um, kind of stay open in the background because it's just detecting the Zoom. So we're going to give it about a minute and then what we're going to do is replug in our Zoom and hopefully the, the Zoom software right off the bat will detect the update. And probably hasn't been a minute yet, but I am good to go ahead and plug in my Zoom. All right, so now Zoom has detected the Zoom. And as you can see now, because we copied that host file into your, um, into your Windows directory, um, it now allows you to be able to update your Zoom. Now, what's what makes this host file so special, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why, is essentially this little IP address and this and this website um, or the server name right here. Um, essentially, this is where it's pulling the files from. So this bypasses the whole Abyss server that um, that again I went over back. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm back. So essentially, uh, my USB hub, where everything's plugged in, just kind of malfunctioned. So I had to uh, stop the video and fix it. But we are good to go now. So again, you should see this screen here, to where um, uh, the Zoom update is ready to go and be pushed through to the Zoom. Um, so just again, make sure that <laughs> your USB hubs are working. Make sure you, your USB ports are working because the last thing you want to do is break your Zoom. Um, and if you do, I mean, it's you, there's a way to still fix it. It's just a little bit more painful to have to keep repeating the process over and over. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start um, the Zoom update. So we're going to go ahead and hit accept. And as you can see up here, installing update 4.5 in quotations 114. And it rebooting like this is normal. Um, has to turn off to extract and install the update. I'm also recovering from a, a sneeze, so I apologize if I sound congested. <laughs> All right, and we're waiting for the Zoom to finish updating. And then once we get the Zoom updated, then I'm going to show you um, around the Zoom software, how to navigate the Zoom software, um, and then how to then import your Zoom HD apps to then be able to synchronize it to your Zoom. So, so far what we've done, we've installed the Zoom software, we've installed .NET Framework, 
we've um, enabled the features for the Zune software permanently to where you can be able to access your apps and, and other things. We have um, replaced the host file um, being the new school method and um, essentially now what we're doing is finishing updating our Zune. And if everything goes well, you should see a Zune logo pop up and then it should just say uh, done or connected after it loads. It could say either or. Might take a moment for it to show it. Yep, so connected, then done, and then you'll see like little like a little zoom pattern pop up in the middle of the screen right behind the word done. And now it's just gonna finish yep, go ahead and start walking you through setting up your zoom. So what what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just for our time purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this just real quick. Um, as well as kind of just jump through the setup screen. So link your account. There's nothing to link at this point. Again, Zoom um, and Microsoft uh, pretty much parted ways. Uh, Microsoft dropped support for Zoom. So being able to do any kind of linking to a live account or a Microsoft account is next to nearly impossible. So just go ahead and hit continue. For the sake of my system resources, I'm gonna go ahead and just say uh, items I choose. And then what I'm going to do is just, you know, in case they ever, you know, miraculously, you know, in a miracle, uh, I don't even think that was a word, um, you know, if they ever pick up support again, hopefully uh, I'll, that would help out. So now it should take you right to your Zoom soft, um, to your Zoom device. And so at this point, what we're going to do is then click on collection. This will take you to where everything is in your Zoom library, so it imports whatever music, videos, pictures, podcasts, things like that. The one thing that you're not going to notice is your Zoom apps, and that is because um, that is going to be the next step here very shortly. So I'm going to teach you how to put your Zoom apps in here, even though that the marketplace doesn't work. And also, a little FYI, if you're if you click on marketplace and you let it load, then the apps. Um, screen will not load even though that the apps are in the Zune software. So again, try to avoid clicking on this as much as possible because this will um, break this button right here and if it does, just simply close out the software, wait about a minute, reopen it, and then click directly to apps and skip over marketplace. And without this enabled, this will not show and this will not show. Um, so it's important that you have to keep Marketplace enabled in order for you to be able to see these two categories. Um, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is go ahead and close out this Zoom software. And then um, what I'm going to do is start wrapping up in regards to, um, uh, as in regards to, uh, you know, doing the Zoom HD applications, teaching you how to do that. And then, I'm, and then what I'm going to do is then, um, continue forward talking about the old school way of doing things and what I'll do is just pause the video come back and and then let you guys know um, about the old school way of doing things so in case of the new school way of doing things goes down let, for example if that website that zoomupdate.com website then you at least have something to just still fall back on that will keep this video um, current and present no matter what all right, so let's go ahead and talk about how to transfer your Zoom applications into um, your Zoom uh, folder in the app data part of your um, Windows, uh, you know, drive. So, for example, um, what we're going to do is go ahead and right click and then um, either choose copy or either click on copy up here. And then what we're gonna do is then uh, double click up, up here where it says shortcut to Zoom. Uh, since we've already done this step, we could just skip over the rec file. And what we're gonna do is just double click short to, uh, shortcut to Zoom and app data. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. It then navigates us over to a um, hidden folder. And this folder is hidden by default. So if you can't see that folder, what you gotta do is then go up to view and click on hidden items. And then this folder would then um, show as well as these other two folders. So what we're going to do is just simply click here in the in the space below. We're going to then go to home and then click paste or you can either hit uh, you know right click and paste. 
So, yep, now we're just copy and pasting that, that applications folder in. So that creates the folder that um, copies all the Zune apps into the Zune software. Again, you want to make sure that the Zune software is closed out. If, if it is open, just simply close out the Zune software, run, you know, run this process, and then reopen it. All right, so at this point, the applications folder is here. So we can go ahead and uh, click off of this. And so now, since we closed out that window, we should be back here where it says um, 2021 Zoom tutorial, uh, tutorials and files. And then you should be back under Zoom applications. So simply just go and relaunch Zoom. And do, 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 do. We are back in Quick Play. Let me go ahead and go into Collections. And let's go directly to Apps. And as you saw, it just populated all the applications in. So now what I can do is go and drag one of my most favorite um, loved Zoom games over and synchronize it to my Zoom. And then when I click here, it will then take me to my Zune. I click on apps and there's my game. So we just moved, we just moved all of these applications into the Zune software. And if we're looking here, Space Battle is here. Space Battle is now on my device. So that's simply how you just copy and paste your Zune applications to your Zune HD. Uh, making it, um, you know, again, semi-usable with the uh, most favorite apps that you love to use back in the day on your Zune. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get myself ready for the old school part of the video. And, um, you know, teaching you guys how to use Abyss Server, uh, teaching you guys how to trick Windows into thinking that you're connecting to the Microsoft server um, so that you're pulling the Zune files directly from your uh, root directory of your Windows drive and then pushing through the update that way on Windows 10. So essentially, I will start off like this again for anybody who um, uses the old school method. Um, again, just follow the steps on how to install the Zune software. Um, so again, you know, make sure that .NET Frame is um, is our .NET framework is enabled. Make sure that you know you run the Zune package.exe. I'm not going to go back over those those steps. I'm just going to simply talk to you about the abyss part of of how to update. So now you guys know how to again turn on and install the Zune software. .NET Framework, um, and now um, you know how to copy the applications into the Zune software, and now you know the new school way um, of being able to update your Zune. So I'll be right back to teach you the old school way. Thank you. All right, guys, so I am back to teach you how to do um, the old school way on Windows 10. So essentially, we're just rebooting the 2017 video that I did and essentially doing this on Windows 10. So remember, um, at the beginning of this video, we've already installed the Zune software. We went in and, you know, we, we you know, move the applications folder into the Zune um, folder under app data. Um, you know, we went ahead and turned on .NET Framework. I'm just recapping one more time. So at this point, um, I had purposely broke my Zune, purposely undid all the fixes that I did um, so I could show you the old school way in case the new school method fails um, for any reason. So let, let's say the let's say that website goes down this is your backup plan so here's what we're going to start doing um, as you can see I have the update error um, to where uh, again the Zune cannot find a way to be able to update so what we're going to do we're going to hop over to um, to where um, we're going to go to number three to Zune firmware update so again we're going back to that directory um, and we're going to uh, go to 2021 Zune tutorials and files so under your downloads folder we're going to number three we're going to then click into number three and then we're going to go to number two which is old school method to update all right so you're going to see part one part two part three and then a Zune firmware backup.zip so don't worry about that 
we're going to go to part one. We're going to go to Abyss web server. We're going to go ahead and install it. It is very important um, that you do not have OneDrive, uh, OneDrive open, Skype open. Um, it's very important that you do not have any um, type of extra Microsoft services running in the background. So that means any kind of Xbox um, app running or anything that's connecting to the servers because that can sometimes mess up with what we're trying to do. So just make sure you shut down, um, you know, the major Microsoft server uh, uh, services like, again, OneDrive, Skype, um, and Xbox. So um, another thing is make sure you're off VPN um, because if you're on a VPN, this could also throw uh, throw off this whole process as well. So make sure your VPN is disconnected. You don't have to worry about uninstalling it. Just make sure your VPN is turned off at this time. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and press I agree. Um, and what we're doing is installing Abyss Web Server X1 setup. Again, this is not really available anymore for, for the download. So um, that's why I have it here under my OneDrive backed up for you guys to be able to install this uh, program. It's that old school <laughs> where it's not even uh, posted on the developer's website anymore. Um, and then what we're going to do is just hit OK. And then we're going to go ahead and press uh, No. And the reason why is because if we set up the server now without the proper files being in place, then it's just going to you know, become a pain to have to close out the program for it to then redetect the files. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to part two. We're going to go ahead and copy all of this. Um, and then essentially the next step is to go to your Windows drive. So that would be your C drive or wherever your Windows drive is that's installed. We're going to go to Abyss Web Server. We're going to go to HT Docs. And anything that's inside this folder, I want you to go ahead and delete. And then you're going to right click and paste or either paste from the ribbon UI. And this is called the ribbon UI. All right, and perfect. So since we got these um, in place, what we're going to do now is uh, go back, go back again, go back one more time, and actually go back one more time again. So now you should see part three host files, right? Um, I'm sorry, host file and so just like um, the, the new school way what we're going to do is right click copy or either you do copy at the ribbon UI and then double click and then that's going to take us to our um, ETC folder which is where your host file is and then you're just going to right click paste and replace and continue and so after that's all set what we're going to do is then go to uh, back to this folder and then what, what we're going to essentially do is then now run Abyss web server and so once you run it yep you go ahead and select public networks hit allow access hit OK and so if everything goes well just erased from the very beginning, I'm sorry, from the very end to all the way up to the one. So we're just going to take this, erase it, press one. And now you can see that all those files are being detected on this little mini uh, fake web server that you set up on your computer. So essentially, again, you're taking the Windows operating system and you're telling it using this program to um, tell Zune to look at the root part of the Windows Drive and pull through these firmware updates into the Zune software, making the Zune software think that it's actually connecting to a Microsoft server and when in reality, you just made a local mini fake Microsoft server to fake the, um, to basically uh, trick the Zune software into taking the update that you just copied over. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hop back here I'm going to go ahead and hit close. I'm also going to shut down the software and I'm going to give it a minute here for it to, to reboot. And off, off and away. And now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that your Zune is in recovery mode. So again, Zune HD is um, you do the middle button and power button to do a hard shutdown. 
after you do the hard shutdown and the screen's fully um, turned off, you're going to hold the volume down button, the middle button, and then press the power button until you see the laptop and the USB um, uh, show up. So let me go ahead and plug this in and show you guys this process. So now, as you can see, uh, the Zune software recognizes that Abyss server is hosting these files locally from your root drive. And so if we go to accept, we're installing 4.5 in, in uh, quotations, I'm sorry, not quotations, but parentheses, 114. So we're pushing through the update now, and this will allow the Zoom to work. And again, I apologize, guys. I am congested once again. Um, and just like my 2017 video, I was congested during that time, too. So I apologize if I sound congested. It's a never-ending battle. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and go on mute, wait for the Zoom to update. Um, if you guys have questions, again, definitely help each other in the comments below, especially hop into my Discord, even if you don't need support, uh, to be to just become that part of the community. I'm also going to um, kind of go over um, my Discord uh, support server, just you know, a quick rundown, some quick changes I did, um, what you're going to expect when you join, um, as well as showing you a, um, a Zoom server that I'm partnered with um, in regards to like if you need hardware um, help or if you need to figure out where to buy Zooms or stuff like that. Um, I will be um, linking that and again that is linked actually in my discord so you would have to join my discord go under partner servers and then be able to then see the zoom server I do this just so that you can then have me as part of your discord um, save discords um, within your settings so in case if you need help you know you could just reach out to me at any point and again, if you're not sure what Discord is, Discord is a communication platform that is a uh, free to use platform. Um, and uh, it, it, it just, it, there's just so many sophisticated cool, thing, cool things that you can do with it. All right, so we just went ahead and finished the Zune, updating the Zune. I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip as previously before I mentioned. Um, you know, you just go through and set up all of your settings, finish and boom. So now if I go to collection, there's my apps, and then there's my music, and then now the Zoom is taking taking whatever kind of synchronization at the moment. Um, so let me go ahead and drop this over here, and then as you can see, it's adding my Space Battle game right now. So now my Zoom's um, working, and it's able to take the update using the Abyss server on Windows 10. So again. If you're having issues with installing Zune or getting a BIS server to work, um, or if you're not able to see these files, do not use Chrome. Chrome does not work well with a BIS server. I don't know what it is about Chrome. Use Microsoft Edge, which is again a Chromium build um, for it to pull up. And if Chrome does work, then great. You know, it, you're you get the you know you should try playing the lottery. But um, if it doesn't, then at this point, you know, you know what the issue is. It has everything to do with the browser, not to do with the actual Abyss server not working. So I um, had helped somebody out, you know, previously before, and, and that's what the issue was. Um, so, yep. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my Discord real quick. So if you're not sure what this is, um, again, um, if you go back to... Let me go ahead and close that window out. So if you... Again, if you downloaded the whole directory, you should see how it works support. How it works support will have the Discord set up. Um, so this will install the software, um, which uh, we can be able to communicate on. Um, you, so you can either talk to me, um, you could screen share with me if you wanted to. Um, you can post, um, you know, 
uh, topics about anything, um, you know, as long as it's appropriate, as well as, you know, again, um, you know, you could just drop a question in and then, you know, later on it can give a response. Uh, I typically go this route instead of checking my YouTube notifications just because, again, YouTube is just bombarded with advertisements. Um, so I avoid trying to check communications on YouTube. So please, please, please use Discord as it's um, really restricted on um, advertisements that is not uh, from an outside source. So, uh, so you go ahead and you install Discord, and when you do, um, you'll you know let it run its course with updating, and then it's going to ask you to log in. Um, so you'll have to create a Discord account, and then once you do that, um, then you're going to double click on this link right here, and then this will take you to. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This should look familiar. My uh, my server uh, support link. So what you would do is then create your program or uh, uh, profile. You hit continue, and then once you do that, um, then you should get logged in, and you will immediately go to the direction page. Now, if you're needing support and you're never and you never use Discord, I'm just going to kind of give you a quick rundown on how this looks. Um, and my Discord does change from time to time, so I, I do rearrange things. Um, as I go but here um, you will be the moment that you join my discord you're gonna end up right here under my direction channel so this is your navigation point this is how to view content kind of like um, if you're looking at Outlook and then here is all the members that you can be able to uh, message or reach out to as long as you're not you know abusing that privilege so and as long as they're okay with it so now if you go down right you're gonna then see a welcome channel a main directory channel uh, Windows ISOs all this extra stuff um, I have right here under res uh, resurrect zoom I have a channel dedicated for zoom and you can you can basically go in and uh, make those um, you know drop in your your um, you know comments and stuff like that so um, and yes, I did chew out Microsoft because um, Windows Defender was eating up 30% of my RAM last night, which was hindering me from being able to make this video. So um, I went on their you know, support server uh, trying to get um, help in regards to disabling it. They, they kind of gave me a runaround, and so I finally found an awesome program that helps me with disabling Windows Defender so that I could be able to make this video for you guys. Um, so, yep, so just make sure that you definitely go over the rules, make sure that, um, you know, you look over that, the partner servers is where I want you to go, um, in case if you do need help with, um, more Zoom stuff, as in, as of, like, needing where to, you know, sell, trade, buy, uh, needing hardware, um, generally, again, this falls under the new school way of doing, uh, doing things, so I'm going to kind of hop over to their Zoom. Discord so that you can kind of get a feel for what they have available. So again, you'll get support here in my in my um, Discord server, but then somebody else has their own, um, and that's under the user invalid user. Um, I don't think he's on, but he is the guy that that um, hosts this server. Okay, so as you can see here, he has his own rules. Um, you know, you, you you know, obviously you can get tech support here too. You can get um, Zoom software. Um, you can get you know, look under Zoom modding. You can uh, you know, see what people are doing with modding their Zooms, showroom, um, marketplace. Um, again, where you can buy and sell your Zoom. Um, you know, memes, which I'm gonna just click off of that just in case if there is any, anything inappropriate. Um, and then, you know, just some other other cool things. But yeah, so essentially this is just kind of like a second point of um, contact. So if like, for example, if I can't answer your question about your Zoom, then this is gonna be the next backup plan I got for you guys to fall back on if you need it. And this is the same exact server that is hosted under the Reddit Zoom um, I guess category or whatever they call it channel. Um, so yeah, so essentially this is the same server that you can find on Reddit.
But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a brief rundown on how this looks. Uh, again, you know, I have all my other projects here. Um, I also have Windows ISOs available for download. So if you guys need to reformat Windows um, and uh, you're having a hard time getting media creation tool to work for you guys, or if you're just on a Mac and you're trying to get Boot Camp installed, but you don't want to go through the Boot Camp uh, process, then again, all of this information is here. This also includes Windows 7 and Windows 8 and 8.1 builds as well. Um, and also, you know, Chrome recovery, uh, Windows updates, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. So if you guys haven't checked my other videos, definitely check it out. But other than that, guys, I just want to say uh, thank you so much again for being the best part of how it works. Thank you so much again for being the best part of uh, the community that I'm trying to create. Uh, please help each other. Please definitely come join my Discord. I would love to hear from you guys either way. I uh, just want to know if, if my video helped, if you could provide feedback, anything that can help me give you guys a better experience as well as making this whole world a better experience in regards to you know Zoom or or technical support for something so I just want to say thank you again um, you know for again being the best part of how it works and I hope you guys have a wonderful day take care bye bye